Butterflies, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video, Kyle had this idea of doing a Christmas Q&A, but I wanted to do a little twist on it and let's do a Christmas Q&A while we wrap gifts. Here's my graph. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your post notifications so you do not miss any time I upload. And without further ado guys, let's just get right into this Q&A. I'm right into the Christmas spirit. I have a Christmassy mug. With tea, they got too much sugar in it. Mm -hmm. Kyle decided to make me sugar tea. We have our wrapping paper. Um, I did have this kind of wrapping paper. I did have this kind of wrapping paper, but um, I didn't. What are you trying to look for? <laughs> I'm trying to read the name. Monday. It's Cooper's. Oh. I did have that kind, but I didn't want to wrap all my gifts in that kind of wrapping paper, so I bought this. Okay, so I will move back. I'll wrap one and you wrap one. Okay. Okay. So do you want to ask the first question? Sure. We have questions wrote down, guys. Okay. <laughs> How do you celebrate Christmas? All right. Do you want to answer first or do you want me to answer first? I asked the question. Okay. So what was the question? How do I How, celebrate? How do you celebrate Christmas? Okay. So how I celebrate Christmas um, before Carl was, well, before we got married, was um, I would go to my nan and my pops. Well, technically it was my pops house, but I always call it nan and pops house. Um, with my aunt, my mom, and my pop. And pop would make Jig's dinner. And then we would just open up gifts and have some supper. And then we would go to my dad's side of the family. So I would go to like mom's and then my dad's. Does that make any sense? Yeah. So that's my back from that. So that's how I celebrated Christmas. Now that I'm married, the past two Christmases that we have been together and married, we always go over to Carl's Nan's house. Um, this year we're not doing that. You're just ripping it because you're calling on it. celebrate Christmas before me? Yep. Well, before we got married. Well, I did the same thing as when we got married. <laughs> we had dinner at my mother's, went over to grandmother's for supper, cold plates, and then we come home and probably go to bed early because I like to wake up really, really early on Christmas morning. I get excited for Christmas. Hmm. So that's how you celebrate Christmas Day? Yeah. You sleep before Christmas Day. I wake up probably like five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. Sometimes when I was younger, I never ever slept on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. So I wake bad. up ass sure, crack of Santa dinner. Claus don't come when you don't sleep. Oh, we came. All I had to do was pretend like I had my eyes closed. We came and laid stocking on the bed. <laughs> oh yeah. But then I get up early, so then we'd have dinner and supper, and after all the turkey, I'd be gone home and sleep. Oh, yeah. You don't know, but turkey actually makes you tired. You don't eat turkey. I don't know. I don't eat turkey. Turkey makes you tired. But yeah. And we did that when we got married, so this is the first different Christmas for me, because we're going to be spending a year here. Yeah. 
All right, so I'm gonna finish wrapping up this gift and then we'll be on to the next question. All right, so now that I have it wrapped, um, this is the worst wrapping job that I have ever done in my life. But now we're going to put the name tag on. Oh. So I'm gonna put that back there. And then you can wrap the next gift. You can wrap this one. Come on, my little pony. It's called a magic pony. Not a my little pony. Okay, so the next question is, what is your most memorable Christmas memory? I don't really have a memorable Christmas memory. I just have things that happen on Christmas at all that I can never forget. Like Jeffrey's first Christmas morning, he fell down over a set of stairs and he had to get stitches in his foot. On Christmas in his Day? Christmas Day, his first Christmas. I think it was his first Christmas. I don't exactly have any good Why are you cutting all the way down there, my son? You all need a little tiny bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Tell you a bit of your job? No, but it's still um, when you hold it. Anyway, I, um, yeah, so I like put it like up here somewhere. Don't need all that. I know. So I don't have like good Christmas memories really. I have like bad things that happen and that's my memory of Christmas. It's because that's why I don't like Christmas. Um, so I think the most memorable bad thing that happened on Christmas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have two actually. Um, when I was little, I was like eight, eight or nine. And the cops and everything had to come because our next door neighbor went nuts and stabbed somebody. <laughs> stabbed somebody with a, um, a beer bottle in the face. So there was that. I was frightened that they even go to sleep that night. And then I got my dad kicked me out on Christmas Day. Because I wanted to go see my girlfriend and it was not okay for me to go see my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's when I was 13. Yeah, but that's, that's things you can just not about now, so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't really care about it now. But I do have one good memory is pretty much like every Christmas that I spend with my mom. My mom tries to make I do too. my Christmas. You weren't here my whole life. No, I don't, I don't want to hear your whole life. Oh my god. Ow! <laughs> I'm sorry. I tried to just cut off a piece of tape. But, yeah, my mom tries to make me feel better. <laughs> anyway, guys, Kyle makes an effort to wrap a gift. At least it's wrapped, I suppose. It's not high quality, but... The f what you saying? Mine's better than yours. That's because it's a box. I wrapped a piece of clothing. You want the big piece on that? Yeah, it's for kids, so you must leave something. All right. Something All nice right. here. Boom. Well, you want to put the that. name on it? There you go. This one is for Adlin. And when you put it down for Adeline, or if it's something for Connor, make sure you put Sissy for me. So he's going to um, make the tag for the gift. This is his gift right here. Like that. So he's going to 
create the tag, and we will be back for the next question. All right, that's Carl's gift that he wrapped. I don't know if I spelled Evelyn's name right, but we will find that out. What's your next question? Can I yes. pick anyone I want? Yeah, just let me cross off the ones that we already did. Also guys, comment down below um, your guys' answers to these questions. I'm very curious on what my subscribers, their answers to these. I don't know how to word things. Named reindeer. Named reindeer? Named reindeer. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not one. good. I'm not good at Christmas. I don't like Christmas. So like, so I don't know about reindeer, but I asked you that question, so you're the one that can answer it because that just means I'll be stealing your answers. Okay, I'll answer it. You bring it up on your phone. Do you got your phone? No. See if I my phone should be there, right there. Let's see if I can uh, actually answer this. Cut off the price tag. All right. All right. Go. The name of the reindeer. Connor. Right? No. How is Connor not one? Connor's not one. <laughs> You're forgetting. R Rudolph. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four. I said four, right? Yeah. So, comment. 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 Why do I always say Connor? Comment. Donner. Blitzen. And Rudolph. Yeah. Um. To concentrate on, on writing a gift because I'm thinking about Rudolph's. Dasher. There's. Comment. What's the ones I just read in? I'm just going to say them out now. Alright. Okay, anyway, as you can tell, I don't like. I I don't know. Are you, I was Rudolph one time in play. I don't know. Are you going to let me read out the 12? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like nine Ranger actually. Dasher. Yeah, I said that one. Dancer. Dancer. Prancer. I said that one. Didn't Vixen. I? Comet. Yeah. Cupid. Donna. Blitzen. And Blitzen and yeah. Rudolph. Because he was the most famous reindeer of all. And then apparently there's Clyde, the forgotten reindeer. Clyde? What? I've uh -huh. never heard of Clyde. As you can tell, I didn't even fin I didn't even start rapping because I was too busy trying to concentrate on trying to get the reindeer's name. I'll ask you another question since you're still letting me get You're gonna ask me another question? Just be careful you don't hit the mic. All right, make sure you cross it off. Here, use this one because no, this one. 
On Christmas Eve, what do you leave out for Santa? What I leave out for Santa? When I was little, little, um, school used to give us um, reindeer food. Yeah, you used to do that too. Yeah. Well, the school used to give us reindeer food, and then I would leave out um, Pillsbury cookies, the ones with the little snowman. Do you know what I was talking about? Yeah. So I'd leave her thin. And that's it. I used to and milk. To... Milk, obviously. I, I used to try to catch the reindeer. You used to try to catch reindeer? I used to tie a string. I used to tie, tie a string from one side of the room to the other and put a, a carrot on the end of it. And you know, maybe I'd hear reindeer nibbling on the carrot, and then I'd wake up and see that. <laughs> okay. They disappear by the time that would happen. I used to think the reindeer was going to come in the house that whole day. No. <laughs> reindeer is not allowed to come in your house. That's where I had the carrot to. One side of the bedroom to the other. Yeah, you would get some Freddy who woke up one night, and that was a. That was gone completely. Just like you are out of the camera right now. You're not even in the camera. You don't even want to be in the video today. Alright. So that's what. Is that all that you used to leave out for Santa? Just try to catch the reindeer? You never... No, I used to do the reindeer food right like now and leave out cookies, but I can't remember what cookies were. I think it was just like. Have you ever made homemade cookies for Santa? Yeah, that's one. I think we used to leave like you know, snowballs and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure it was the Pillsbury ones that I left out. So I'm gonna wrap up the rest of this gift, seeming that he asked two questions while I'm wrapping the same gift. And as soon as I'm finished wrapping up this gift, I will be back for the next question. All right. I have it wrapped. I don't think we're gonna have enough wrapping paper for all day. We got more work, yeah? Alright, I'm gonna give you this. Because this one is only a little one. That, that was only a little one, did I only need this piece? No. Yeah? No. Yeah? No. No. The next question would be, what is your favorite Christmas movie and your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas movie is Arthur Christmas. Is it a Netflix movie or is it just a regular movie? It's a regular Christmas movie, but it is on Netflix. Oh. Favorite Christmas song? Well, I have a new Christmas song. Don't worry, it's not really a Christmas song. Okay, you'll say one. you'll say that one. And what is your favorite Christmas Christmas song? Like actual Christmas song? Snoop, Snoopy, Red Band. Oh, oh God! Oh my God! What's your new Christmas song? Christmas right Sucks. Oh. Yeah. By uh, Jaden Hustler. Yeah. Well, my favorite Christmas movie. Can you give me some tape, please? Yeah, sure. Is. I don't know if it's technically a Christmas movie or not, but it's The Nightmare Before Christmas. The Nightmare Before Christmas. And my favorite. I don't know if they qualify that as a Christmas movie or if they if they count it as a Halloween movie because it has like the skeleton and stuff in it. So that's my favorite movie and my.
my favorite song is Santa Baby. No, it's the Taylor Swift version. Yeah. That's my favorite. And, well, there, I actually seen that Justin Bieber had a new Christmas song out. Called Christmas Eve? No, Christmas Love. Oh, wait, they're nothing called Christmas Eve. Oh, I've never seen that one. But I really like that one as well. Because I listened to that one last night. Because I seen it on my YouTube feed. So... I really like that one. It's very cute. He's so good at writing gifts, guys. Alright, that one's well, just the same. What would you think that this is? What do you think it is? You can't guess what you can. <laughs> Alright, guys. Okay, so you ask the question, I'll get the other gift. Let's do, um... What's your Christmas Eve tradition? What? What's your Christmas Eve tradition? Oh, yeah. Um, my tradition before, and that wrapping paper. Um, my traditions before I got with you was almost the same as what we do now. Well, what you did for me last year. Um, it was, I'd open up a gift on Christmas Eve, and that Christmas Eve gift was a Christmas set of pajamas, or just a regular pajama set, and hot cocoa and a movie. Um, I think we just went around delivering gifts to people that we weren't going to see on Christmas Day. I think that's how we do. For Christmas Eve? That was your Christmas Eve tradition? I think so. I can't really remember. You can't remember any Christmas Eve? I know. I, I, I remember going to see people that we weren't going to see on Christmas Day. Yeah. And we used to wait for... Because he got memory loss. Like, he got, like, dementia. We used to wait for Santa Claus to go on a fire truck. Oh, yeah. That's right. Because Tilton does that, don't they? Spanish Bay does that, too. Oh, uh, They did it last year. Cooper was in the living room with no. Remember? Oh, I can't remember last year. Well, you have memory loss. No, 2020 <laughs> got me gone. I can't even remember 2020 even happening. Let alone remember, remember the dog going nuts at the window. Anyway, this gift. This gift. It's only for a dog. I know, but still. Just take this and fold it back that way. Alright, you hold on to this right there, huh? Guys, do anybody else wrap dog's gifts? Because I wrapped the dog's gifts. They're my children. So let me know down in the comments if you uh, wrap up your dog's gifts so I don't feel like a complete I'd wrap up weirdo. A, I'd wrap up a dog's gift, but a box of treats, I'd probably just stick a bow on it. That's a gift. And that's the box of treats, that's gift. <laughs> but like if we were to get him like a jacket or something like that for Christmas. What did we get the dogs last year for Christmas? We got them both their beds, didn't we? Yeah. They don't have a big gift this year. Yeah. Anyway, I will read off a another question. What is your Typical Christmas Day food look like. Jigs dinner. Yeah. Jigs dinner for dinner and cold plates for supper. With the leftover turkey from dinner. Oh um, no. We just we just have jigs dinner. And then we have more jigs dinner. <laughs> In one day. Yeah. So Oh my son. And then we'd have breakfast. <laughs> 
Well, actually, yeah, this year is going to be like that because this year we're going to mom's for dinner and it's always poop dinner at mom's for dinner and then their mother's work on Christmas Day. So Jason's cooking Jake's dinner too. No, he's making ham, I think. Yeah, but he's still going to do vegetables on top, I suppose, is he? Oh, unless he's I doing like... I suppose. I don't know. I don't know what he's having. I don't know. Anyway, this, this it's, Christmas a big, is... it's a big supper. Anyway. So guys, I have the gift wrapped up. And we use the rest of that wrapping paper to so move down to this one. Well, it's only going to go in the garbage anyway. I know, but I like to have nice looking wrapping paper. Like, nice and bright. shopping and they used to ask you if you wanted your gift wrapped. And they used to wrap it right nice with the curly ribbons. Like what Amazon does? I've never seen that on Amazon. Me either but I've seen it well me personally I've, ne I've never seen it like gifted to me but I've seen it on like other YouTubers videos and stuff. Like I've seen stuff wrapped and TikTok. I see people gifting things on TikTok and, well, receiving things on TikTok. Boom! Gift is wrapped. Make sure he says mom and dad. Oh, he said mom and dad. <laughs> okay. Boom! That's another one for the dogs. All right. So, now it's my turn. No, it's not. It's your, no, it's my turn. Yeah, it's my turn, girl. All right, I will wrap up this. What? I can't read this. What? What's on thing? I was half tired <laughs> <laughs> when I wrote this. You don't even know what it is. <laughs> Oh, it's supposed to say, what's one thing? Yeah, I forgot to put the E. What's one thing you wish you can have for Christmas? What would you like to have for Christmas? That's like... What's one thing you would like to have for Christmas? That's what it's supposed to say. 
I was literally, it was one o'clock in the morning, okay? You I was editing. Who do I send to give you? The only thing that I would really want for Christmas would be obviously a material thing that I don't exactly need or don't exactly, you know, would be um, the game that I want for the Switch. I don't want that. I don't want you to want it. Oh, I, I just wanted to show you the, the little... Oh, the little chocolate and bun. Little sweet chocolate. What game do you want for Christmas? What? What game do you want for Christmas? The game that I want for Christmas is either Pokemon Diamond or Pokemon Pearl or Pokemon Diamond. Jeez, I Do you have a preference? Um, I don't really care because they're almost the same game. And the other thing that I would like to have for Christmas that is hard for me to get would be to have my own baby. <laughs> me too. To have a child. I don't even know what kind of material thing that I would like to have. I don't really... Like if you had the money or if somebody asked you, what do you want for Christmas? I seriously don't want any Christmas shit. I usually... You sound like me every Christmas. No, usually... So I don't exactly want anything for Christmas. No, oh, but like usually there, I do have something that I would like to have. But this year, it's like I got everything pretty well that I want. And if I want something, I'll just wait till you see page, I can go and get it. Yeah. I'm, Me too. I'm, like, I'm fine with a pair of socks for Christmas. Like, I'm fine with what your favorite chocolate for Christmas. Yeah, me too. This Christmas is the only thing that I, that I like, ask for something. Like, the game. There's nothing that I want, really. Because it's literally my childhood. That was the first Pokemon game that I had ever, was Pokemon Diamond. Well, I guess if I wanted something for Christmas. Besides child? Yeah. I, I said I wanted either uh, a newer Xbox than what we have, or, or a newer PlayStation. Yeah, I was going to say... You asked me that when we went but, to Walmart. But it's not something that, like, I get upset because I don't have. Oh, I, I wouldn't get upset either if I couldn't get me game, but, like, you know. Because I don't really play video games that much, but there is a couple a couple games that are on the newer Xboxes and Playstations that I play. Can you play? Do any of them come on like the PlayStation 3? Or is it all just like the newer PlayStations? Like newer. The PlayStation 5 like, and the PlayStation 4. Yeah. Actually, I do have an item that I want for Christmas. But it doesn't have to be for Christmas. Do you remember the game? You can get it for Xbox 360. And it's called Bully. Called what? Bully. B U L L Y. Like a bully. No, I don't know that. It's a good game, actually. Actually, I never had the game before, but everybody used to play it. And you can get it for Xbox 360. So how would you know if you like the game? Because I've watched some gameplay videos on YouTube. Huh. You weren't supposed to... Okay. Uh, were you supposed to... I this one. Oh. I was going to say. You ever seen one like that before? No. Anyway, you should take a look at it later on. You can get for like it 25 bucks. See if you can do it. Sorry. Sorry, excuse you. This game. What it is, Bully is an action. Anyway, guys, I gotta rest. <laughs> Bully is an action adventure game developed by Rockstar Vancouver. It was released on October 17th. 2006. Mm -hmm.
Anyway, by the time you uh, find it all, I'll have all this done. It's basically like Grand Theft Auto. Mm -hmm. But you're in school. Like, you can beat up kids, and, like, you're a bully, you can beat up kids. Same thing as if you're in, like, high school, whatever goes on in high school. Like, you can get detention, and, like... Okay. I don't know why they would ever make a game like that, but, okay. <laughs> Alright, so, now, Kyle's the one that's getting sidetracked. He's trying to find trailers to games and everything else. So... What one do you want to wrap now? Do you want to wrap one of these? No, I don't want to wrap one of them. I want to wrap those. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you wrap the dice. So, the next question is, what's the place you would like to spend Christmas? Like, if you could spend Christmas anywhere in the world, where would you like, celebrate Christmas? Like a city or something? Yeah, like if we were allowed to travel... And if we had the money to travel anywhere, where would you go? I'd like Perhaps to... Scissors. So anyway, where would you go if you could go anywhere? Like, if we were allowed to travel right now, like, if somebody said, here's a ticket to anywhere in the world for you and your boy, where would you go to spend Christmas? Somewhere in death, there's no snow. And it's warm. I want to witness a warm Christmas. Like be able to wait Christmas Day in your shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> you do that now. <laughs> Nobody you know what I mean? Okay, so where... I don't like being... Where's high. your preference? What places in the world doesn't not snow or be cold? Anywhere that's in the center, I think. Because Florida gets snow every now and then. Certain parts, I think. Let's go to Hawaii. Hawaii? Hawaii. Mine would be either. Actually, can I change my decision? Sure. <laughs> Remember when we were in school, they used to do the shoe boxes for children? Mm. And they used to send it off? No. Anyways, you used to, our school. I don't think our school did that. Uh, anyways, it's, they used to do shoe boxes for children like the, that, like it's a poor country or whatever. Oh yeah, okay. So, no, I know what you're talking about, but, but we I'd never like to did go, that. I'd like to go go there one day and just like see them open the shoe boxes. And stuff. Do they still do that? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay. Well, that's well, mine would be, I would go to either three places. I would go to Paris, the Eiffel Tower. So I think it snows there. I don't know if it snows there or not. I'd go there. I would go to um, New York to see what New York has in store for Christmas. And a parent? I, I would go to Bora Bora because I just want to go to Bora Bora. Apparently, Germany are really big. They love the holiday. The holiday Christmas? Okay. I don't know, I just like to go anywhere else but Newfoundland. I would do that. I'd like to go around the world just to like... I would like to see what they do. What they do and what they eat for Christmas. Because for hell sure, they don't do what we do here. <laughs> This is, that is for sure. That is for the dog. This is for your mother. That is not. She's that not is for the dog. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas, Mom. Here's some dog food. Man, <laughs> one of these years, that's what we're going to do for Christmas. Oh, okay. We're going to buy just the randomest gift ever, wrap them up. And... People are going to be like, what? 
People do that. Exactly. Just to see. I've seen in videos. Just to see if they would appreciate what you did get them, not what you did. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Just like that video. It's an avocado. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> He was so excited to get that one avocado. Hey, do you make a New Year's resolution? Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, I try to. Oh no, we only got a little bit of wrap tape left. Okay, I try to make resolutions. And some of them I pursue, like I actually do. And some of them I do not. But this year, I would like to do some. Yeah. Yes. I would like to do some and actually do them. And I also want to make a video on having my resolutions, like telling you guys what my resolutions are. And throughout my YouTube recordings, I will record if I do them or not. Like, you know, see the process and like see if I can complete my goals that I want to do in my life. And I want to make, I want to make resolutions, like New Year's resolutions. And I would like, to do like my new year goals, like what I would want my goals to be in 2021. I don't know, is it the same thing? When? 2022, oh my God. See, I told you, I don't know You're going where back I am. Yeah, I don't know where I am. I don't do New Year's resolutions. So there's nothing that you wanna like, change or um, improve? I don't, I don't or... believe in New Year's resolutions. I just said... You just don't want to improve? You just want to stay safe? No, safer. I just... I have goals in my life, what I want to achieve, and it doesn't have to be a New Year to achieve a goal. I'm not putting a timeline on me fucking goals. Like, okay. I want to go to school when I'm going to school. In the New Year? In the New Year, yeah. But yeah. It wasn't my choice. You didn't choose to go to school? No, I didn't. It's not your choice to go to school? It's not my choice when I start. Oh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. So, that's why I don't like doing New Year's Revolution, because you don't know when you're actually going to be able to complete them, even, even though you are going to complete them one day, it might not be in that same year. Okay, okay, I, I get it. So, but I might, I might, I do want to aim to like, give up smoking, and I do want to aim to. So that would be kind of like a resolution, but like you would like to I'm do, like, do just it on a regular, yeah. Okay. I want to do it on my own time, I don't want to feel like I got to be rushed. Okay, alright, makes sense. Yeah, well, I want to do that, but I want to do it in a video because I want to, like, make my subscribers and my subscriber family be more part of my life and to, you know, feel like they're included in my life because they are. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool, I just say, and like, because we can't say New Year's resolution is we're going to have a youngster this year, but you don't really know. Yeah, no, I know. That would be something that you would want to have in your life, kind of thing, a resolution for your life. The last question is to show an embarrassing Christmas photo. I will go first because I don't have any. You don't have any embarrassing... I don't have any that I can show. I don't have any. You don't have, like, no. your mom don't have any on Facebook or anything? No. She got them in baby photo albums, but, like, not on Facebook. Oh. 
well, let me tell you, I got some on the Facebook, buddy. So you hang on there now. I plops this right on here. And I fold that back there. And I get ready to wrap up the other gift, the last gift. So, so we're going to wrap this last gift. And then we'll be back to look at the... Uh, well, you can, no, no, never mind. I will, I will, um, get ready. Okay, after five minutes of looking at different Facebook profiles, what are you, what are you picking up? I'm trying to get the word I out. thought you was picking up my dog. Anyway, after five minutes of, um, looking at, uh, different profiles, Sitting on the floor is not helping the back. But I found the two pictures that are very embarrassing. Okay, so there's this one. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen anyway, but there's this one. That's me holding a pair of socks. Can you say that, Tyler? Yeah, that's, that's Uncle Tyler. So we have that. And then the story behind that one is, um, Still to this day, I don't like getting socks for Christmas. I don't like wearing socks. I don't know why. I just don't like wearing socks. They make me feel very uncomfortable. They make me feel really warm. Just don't like socks. And I um, went down to my nan's and that's what she got me for Christmas. And it was a pair of socks and I was acting like I was so surprised. I was like, oh my god, socks! <laughs> but everybody knew that I hated socks. Everybody was like, no, we're just going to get it for you because, you know, the child needs socks. But in all reality, I had about 10,000 pairs of socks and I just didn't wear them because I didn't like wearing socks. I don't. I do. <laughs> I don't, I do. <laughs> what do you mean? I do like wearing socks, but like, usually when I'm home, I won't wear socks, I'll just wear me, uh, flip flops. Yeah, I'd rather wear slippers than wear socks. Alright, so now that I have that taped up, I got me back again. Anyway, and there's this one. I'm obviously gonna pop it up on the screen. So there's that one. Um, I had a obsession with um, High School Musical with um, me too. Zac Efron. Me too. Just Zac Efron. Yeah, me too. That's it. Didn't like it. Well, I like Sharpay. Uh -huh. But Zac Efron. Mm -hmm. I tell you what. So um, on the necklace, it was just Zac Efron's face, and I wore that every single day after that. So that was really embarrassing because literally, if you can look closely, if you can look closely at my face, I'm literally biting, eating the box that it's in. Grandma never changed bit in that picture. That was no. what, how many years ago was that? Um, oh wait. Nana got, that was over 10 years ago. That was more than 10 years ago and your grandmother never changed. Ten years. Not really. None of them has changed really. Ooh. Not really. I haven't changed. I got more depressed, I suppose. You found your sense of style. I found my sense of style. Okay. I've always dressed myself. Yes, but I mean. Nobody has dressed me. But the hair, have you always been like do whatever you want to do hair? Um, sometimes. Sometimes I'd have to convince my mom to allow me to dye it a certain color. But if you were to say, Mom, I have my hair in neon pink right now. I've had my hair in neon pink, yeah. Should I yeah, or just wait? Over no, you can't, you can't just go home, go home ruin your hair, it's only burned out like Oh, she'd say, oh, she say that, yeah. She would say that. She says that now. But... She would always let me do it. Because, I don't know, she just <laughs> go 
complain about it and then she would just be like, all right, let's go. I'll make you any appointment and uh, we'll go to. But then whenever I would want it, like she would be like, you want it, you got to go back brown. She'd go out and buy a bath dye. She wouldn't go to the salon. She wouldn't have to wash. Yes. Uh, and when we have kids, like, and they want to dye their hair. Mommy will do it because I will have my education. Yeah, but I was going to say, like, you can't get a permanent one. Like, if they're young, you just get one of those, uh, the ones that wash it out. Every, like. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't let them do any damage to their hair until they get a certain age. <laughs> You can't damage your hair until you're 18 and you're on your own. <laughs> no, I'm 16. That's, that's when I started to put bleach in my hair. <laughs> Seeming that I was blonde about 10,000 times because blonde and colorful hair is my happy place. Mm. That is for Jord. And... Boom. Now we are done wrapping. So anyway guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the <laughs> new <laughs> nap. Anyway guys, uh, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a big fat like. Comment down below what you would like to see next. And also guys, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your post notifications so you do not miss any time I upload. And without further ado, guys, this is the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>